In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open a PowerPoint presentation on a Chromebook. There are actually quite a few different ways that you can open a PowerPoint presentation on a Chromebook, and Timmy even has a previous video which will be linked to in the description down below, where Timmy shows you how you can install Microsoft Office on a Chromebook, so then you could open up PowerPoint inside Microsoft Office PowerPoint, and it would all work very well. But in this video, Timmy's going to show you the simpler, easier way to open a PowerPoint presentation on a Chromebook. The way that Google intended you to do it. So to do that, the first thing you'll need to do is find your PowerPoint presentation in the Files app. So if you've downloaded it, it'll probably be in your Downloads folder, but it could be in any other folder on your Chromebook in the Files app. But once you've found your presentation, Timmy's found Timmy's right here, You'll just need to double click on it and it will open it up in Google Chrome and you'll be able to see your PowerPoint presentation. So now you can see all the slides and you can make basic adjustments. You could change the text or maybe add an image or do something like that, move things around, do basic sort of things like that. And if you click here, you could present it if you wanted to. So if you just wanted to present the presentation, you could do it like this. But it's a fairly simple interface. You don't have all the features that you would find in something like PowerPoint or even in Google Slides and things like that. It's just fairly simple. And if all you need is fairly simple, you can just leave it like this and be done with it. But if you want some more features, you can actually very easily from here open this presentation in Google Slides and then get a lot more features like you would find in Microsoft PowerPoint. So to do that, You'll just need to click on the File button here and then click on Save as Google Slides and now it will convert the PowerPoint presentation into a Google Slide. So you just have to wait for that and then as you can see it opens up the Google Slide in a new tab and now it's ready. So now you have a lot more advanced features with stuff you can do in Google Slides. You can do all kinds of things in here and you can also present it and do basic things and do whatever you want with it. And you can even share it by clicking the share button here. So that's really cool. But the one drawback when you open it up as a Google slide like this is that now if you make any adjustments to this Google slide, so Timmy will make an adjustment here, just for an example, Timmy will put an exclamation mark in there. If you make any adjustments to this Google slide, those changes will not be saved to the PowerPoint presentation that is on your Chromebook. So the PowerPoint presentation that we saw in the Files app here will still not have that exclamation mark added to it. And that's not really a huge problem. You can just keep your presentation in Google Slides now because if you click on this Google Slides logo up here, it'll take you to all your Google Slides and you'll see this presentation here, so it's saved here and you've got all the changes in it ready and everything like that. And if you went to drive.google.com, you would also find your Google Slides presentation there. But the adapted presentation will not be saved to your Chromebook in the downloads folder the way it was when it was a PowerPoint presentation. But if you want to make changes in, in Google Slides to your PowerPoint presentation and then save it back to your Chromebook as a PowerPoint presentation again, you can also do that quite easily. So if you just come up to File here in Google Slides after you've made your changes, and then come down here to Download and hover over Download, and then click on Microsoft PowerPoint, it will download this modified Google Slides presentation as a PowerPoint presentation. So now if we go back into the Files app and look at the Downloads folder, we have this original one, which is the one we opened up before, and the one we then opened in Google Slides. And now we have this new one, which is the one we modified in Google Slides and then downloaded from Google Slides. So this part is completely optional depending on what you're wanting to do. But if you wanted to save it back to your Chromebook as a PowerPoint presentation, that's how you can do that. But so that's all there is to using the built-in way of opening a PowerPoint presentation on a Chromebook. But if you've decided that you would like to open your PowerPoint presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint, you can learn how to do that by clicking on this video right here.